For this video, we will show the synchronized cardio version feature of the LifePak 35 cardiac monitor. In this case, we have a patient that is in VTAC, as you see here on the screen. This patient is not hemodynamically stable, so their uh, systolic blood pressure is below 90. Their mental status is poor. So as a result, we've elected to use electrical therapy via synchronized cardioversion on this patient. The patient, the defib pads are on the patient. The four lead is on the patient. We're going to go ahead and collect the therapy button. And then we're going to click this uh, middle button, which is it's called sync, which is synchronized cardioversion. So first thing that you will notice is it automatically syncs for us. You can see those little triangles at the top of the screen here, which is the synchronization. No longer do you have to press the button like you do on the LifePak 15 to synchronize, uh, which you know could be dangerous because some people might forget to press that and instead of synchronized cardioversion, actually defibrillate a patient. So the LifePak 35 automatically does that, but we should always confirm here at the top of the screen that we're getting those triangles for the synchronized uh, uh, cardioversion with every R wave there on the, uh, on the screen. So here at the bottom, because our energy is automatically set to 360 for defibrillation as with Maryland protocol, it comes up here that way as well. Remember, that is certainly not the uh, initial cardioversion uh, energy that we're using on patients. So I'm going to have to adjust this. Remember for uh, rhythms such as a uh, SVT, a uh, VTAC, those rhythms, we're going to initially cardiovert those patients at 100. So I would back that down, again, if we're talking about adults, okay? I'd back that down to 100 joules, okay? And then from here, what I would do is just charge and shock the patient. Remember, if we have a patient that's in an unstable uh, AFib RVR, okay, and we've decided to cardiovert them, AFib, we cardiovert initially at 200. So I'd adjust that to 200 joules. 100 for SVT and VTAC, and then 200 for AFib RVR. Uh, again, these are hemodynamically unstable. So I would adjust that from there. And then, of course, after this, we go into our defibrillation settings. For this, we still would march up from, let's say that the, I had an SVT patient that I started at 100. If that didn't cardiovert them and I was going up in energy, then I'd go to 200. If that didn't work, then I'd go to 300 and then ultimately 360 in synchronized cardioversion. So at this point, let's just say that I have a, this patient here that's in VTAC with a pulse and is hemodynamically unstable. I'm gonna adjust it to 100. I'm gonna go ahead and click charge. It'll charge up to 100. And then with this one, remember that you have to hold the shock button because it's delivering the energy at the exact time, hence why it is synchronized. So at that point, it's going to ask us which way we want to go. So if we would be in a ventricular arrhythmia now, then we'd go into defib mode. If we're still in a um, SVT, a VTAC, an AFib, et cetera, uh, and we think we might cardiovert again, we just go into sync mode again. And then automatically it's going to start to sync. And that is cardioversion.